is up guys this is praises here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own brush and so let's get started so first what you want to do is make sure that you open up a new layer obviously new document but uh have the background be white as you see here and make another layer it's just blank and then go to like a default brush but this is just a brush that i've been using it's just like it's the exact same brush as the presets just with transfer on you don't know what transfer is it's this little thing right here but and along with pen pressure but anyways besides that i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a little cool brush so for let's say uh digital painting or something like that really needs like hair or something realistic such as like grass or any of that type of stuff you or sometimes you're gonna run into like a little roadblock that you gotta make like your own thing because not always are you gonna have just random brushes laying around but I'll show you guys how to make it right now so what you do is you have your brush set on black and the back on white obviously with a new layer and you just do lines like this and you just draw them however you want I mean it's not like super important it's like try to do it like different color or like uh, like strengths I should say <clears throat> just to give it like more variation that way it'll give it more of a realistic grass feel instead of just you know straight up lines like that but after you do that you want to go up to edit and you want to go down to define brush preset and so what this will do is bring up the brush name that it will become and you want to name it whatever you want to name it so I'll just name it grass and you push OK and now you have that on, in your brush library which I just do this by pushing clicking the uh, clicking right on my mouse but and then you have it down here and so you can use it like this so that's really cool and you can change around like what I'd probably do with this brush would probably be something like go into the brush presets of it and go down to shape dynamics brush tip shape spacing probably have it a little bit higher just so it's like more spaced out obviously but and use it that way because grass is fairly fairly random if you're gonna do it in like hills and stuff you're gonna have it have it darker and then lighter in some areas so that's really useful for spacing um, you can also do like a what is that dynamics you can have it either like jitter or you can make it kind of like different heights throughout the entire thing that will actually make it look more real than just you know having it straight up this normal grass just like the brush that I made but besides that that's how you make a brush and another way another thing that's really useful is being able to make a brush that is a logo so what I have here is the Sora logo, Ta -da. and you can do the exact same thing. So go up here, go up to edit, and you go all the way down to define brush preset, and then you push here, and Sora. And then now that you have that as a option, you can go into, like what I did before, brush presets, the brush icon. And you can do scattering, have this go up pretty high, and then... You can like adjust it however you really want. You can just see it all down right here, but you can flip it around and such. Use some pen pressure or something like that, and again, go up to here and then maybe jitter, angle jitter. So then this way it'll make it more of a like a collage instead of like something that doesn't really look like instead of having like to copy and paste all the time and all that wamble jamble, but. Hopefully this has helped you guys. You guys can make a lot of cool things, especially knowing how talented some of you guys are. Like You can turn this into a lot of things, but hopefully this has helped. And yeah, so also another thing that I want to say is thank you all for 6,000 followers on Twitter. Um, I released a free pack the other day when I hit it, so... This free pack contains colored social media icons, which are obviously just white, so I guess it's cool. But anyways, um, all those, uh, some of my old renders that I used to do when I did 3D type stuff, so those are just for fun. You can really use it for really anything. Like, you just throw it into your 
background or something like that. And my favorite flares, these are really pretty flares. I think that would go a lot, a lot better with your work if you have like a glow type of style. And some really cool stocks. Like these are like some of like my favorite ones that I found. Some of them I haven't even used yet that I wanted to, but really cool stocks. But, yep, all this is free. I'll have a link in the description for this tweet. But I just wanted to say thank you guys a lot for the subscribers and along with the followers because I'm now up to 6,062, which is pretty awesome. And for subscribers, I'm up to 552. So, anyways, kids, I want to say thank you and have a great rest of your day. So, soar up. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoy, make sure to check out these other videos that I have annotated on the screen. And leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And have a wonderful day.